Hey, what's up guys? This is Mavoda and we are back here on the co-op for server. Um, today we are starting our episode here in our old spawn. This was our original spawn location when we first started the map. I think I spawned here. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Um, the map had actually already been live for a couple of hours by the time I got on here. I was, uh, I was working that day. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, by the time I got here, they already had all these farms built and a couple of sheep farms over there. And they had this kind of hotel spot built here for, for everybody to have shelter in the beginning. I think uh, my room is over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. I still got some, some junk left in here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to just do a little update of some of the things that have been happening around here. Some of the things that... Uh, other people have been doing and things that I have been doing um, so uh, yeah as I mentioned this is our old spawn if you head through this arc here and head down in that direction and it, it leads to the strip mine that we had um, originally used here it's like the community strip mine that I made when I first came on that was a that was my job when we reset the map was was the script line. We have an airship up there built by one of our players, Al Thara. Um, and we got a um, little tree farm here that we had in the beginning. A little automatic. Oh, looks like somebody blocked it off. I don't know if it works anymore. A little charcoal machine, the mumbo jumbo design. Um, I actually linked that the tutorial for that design in one of my earlier videos. Um, yeah, this was our. It used to be a setup that was, uh, I think it. Where was it? Yeah, it was like right about here. Um, and the skeletons would drop down. We had a little dispenser with lava. But since then, um, Sam modified it for us a little bit not too long ago. And just made it more of like an AFK kill farm. So uh, instead, now they spawn in here, drop down. Um, usually, though, any uh, any that survive because they have like feather falling boots on or something like that get killed by the iron golems down there. And then all their items uh, collect in the chests over here. Pretty cool. Oh, and he did another, like, pistonless elevator. Looks, looks pretty cool. <laughs> Love the way those things look. Um, and then, just in case anything else spawns, their items all go into that chest. That's, like, kind of a miscellaneous chest. Um, so what else are we going to take a look at today? Uh, what have I been doing here on the server? Um, I've been working a little bit on the arena... That we uh, that we've seen in past episodes, um, been a little burnt out on it, so I haven't been working on it too much. Um, but recently, we've all been taking a look at the new snapshot and uh, a lot of the new things, and changes that uh, are coming to the game. And with that, my plans kind of changed. Um, as you have hopefully have seen in one of my earlier episodes, uh, I do have villager trading at my um, at my base. I have a paper trader there, whose uh, whose last trade is paper. So um, you know I can stockpile emeralds pretty quickly, as you know, basically as fast as I can get reeds. Um, but trading mechanics are changing pretty drastically in the new update. Um, in some good ways and in some ways I'm not too happy about there. I mean, they are nerfing things a little bit where, from what I understand, the idea of a paper tr uh, trader isn't the same anymore. Where, um, I think it's changed so that where their last trade spot, that's, you don't have to do that to unlock them all. You have to do like more trades to unlock them all, something like that. I don't know. I haven't really tried it too much yet 
in the snapshot. I started messing around with the snapshot a little bit, but kind of got distracted bouncing around on slime balls because it was fun. Um, but yeah, with, anyway, with all that being said, things are going to change in the way of trading. And um, one of my plans for the future, is, uh, future build, is going to be one of the probably most expensive buildings I've ever made. I wanted to build like a castle and maybe make it out in like the ice lands and stuff and make it primarily out of quartz and emerald bucks. Um, it's kind of ridiculous idea, but I think it would look really cool. I've messed around a little bit with those block types together in a, you know, creative test world and it looks pretty cool. I think it could look really awesome. Um, but as I said, it is the most expensive project I probably will ever have made in Minecraft. So, um, I've been shifting a lot of my focus. Any time that I've been spending here on the server has been spent uh, collecting paper and trading for emeralds. Um, I've also been going out getting some quartz and stuff. So, um, yeah, we've been doing a large amount of paper trading. Oh, something interesting that happened here this morning. There's just some leftover tracks from a Sam is, I think, moving some villagers around for, for future plans. Sweet. Um, but yeah, a little earlier before, there was a ghast in our hub, in this room, shooting around. Um, we think he might have spawned. I since changed it, but the... These were two full blocks before. Now I put half slabs there, but if we think there was enough space right here for him to spawn. It's pretty much the only place he could have spawned in here. Um, I did a pretty good job, at least I think, of making the whole hub spawn proof. And we haven't had a single gas spawn yet. That was the first one since I built this place, and it's been a couple months now, so... um. It was certainly kind of a shock when uh, when I got a message that uh, that our uh, spawn, I mean, uh, sorry, that our hub had a ghast in it. Um, by the time I came over here, uh, Sam and another one of our players, Epic Gamer, they had killed it, and I had to do very, 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 very minimal amount of repair. We actually got really lucky. Um, Wait, one thing I wanted to show you before I go out here. Um, so yeah, I got really lucky. Or we got really lucky. You know, for the amount of minimal damage there was. I think I only had to replace maybe a couple of chisel quartz blocks and like a stair or two. And that was about it. It was just a couple piece of, pieces of quartz. Um, we got off pretty easy. Hopefully things will be good now and we won't have any spawns up here. Uh, so one thing I wanted to show you. Everyone has started to work on their nether tunnels. They look really cool. This is, um, I think this is Froggy KM and, uh, and Nightmares. This is uh, Bookworm Bumpkins. She makes really cool stuff. Um, so we're starting to hit that time where a lot of people are starting to go from, you know, something like this, which is kind of what mine looks like, the big square, to making, you know, nice nether rails and stuff. Um, I'll just show you the beginning of a couple peoples. Um, and this got me to where I, um, I wanted to start mine. It was, it was long overdue kind of sick of going down this big ugly tunnel I didn't man I don't know if I mentioned this in the nether hub tour video but this is a, a little stand Luna made in the middle of the green room here with a mushroom cow in here this is Luna's rail which looks pretty awesome go up top because it looks a little different once you get up top of this hill here Yeah, she's got uh, flower pots and 
yeah, this place looks really cool. And one day we'll go look at uh, her her building that she's her base that she's working on right now. It looks really really awesome. Um, who else we got around here making a rail? Oh yeah, we got click and arcs rail. It's looking really awesome. I like the detail, I like the block types and stuff. Place looks really cool. Um, once we got a couple other people working on cool stuff. Oh, I know Rip Effects as well looks really cool. Yeah, there's Rips. And hers is cool too because she's got this on one side. And yeah, she's got the rail to the side. You know, you go through the half slab so it keeps mobs off the rail, which is cool. And then she's got the little like sprinty spot on the other side. Really cool design to this tunnel. And uh, her base looks really cool too. I went over there actually um, for the first time, I think, on this map uh, the other day. You know, so many players and you get caught up so much in your own stuff, you don't get to check everybody's bases out. And uh, Rip Effects has been a player on this server. I think she was here before me. And. Um, and I remember on the last map, her, her her buildings were really cool. She's a really great builder. She does a lot of really cool stuff. So I just went out to take a look at her base, and uh, it's it's looking pretty awesome so far. And um, so yeah, as we go down, all, all that being said, the reason I wanted to show you that it's got me kind of jealous. Where I started to work on my tunnel a little bit. Uh, this part that we're on now is not done, um, but you know, we'll see it down at the other end because I started with my portal room, trying to kind of keep the same theme and block types as my castle. Now I've started to extend that down my rail, and uh, you know, if you see how long our rail is here, you will guess you know it's, it's gonna take forever, pretty much. It's gonna take a really long time to to work on my rail, but it's. In the end, I think it'll look really, really nice, and, you know, it'll give us something to work on when we, you know, when we hop here, on here on the server, and we feel like playing, but we're, you know, maybe a little burnt out on some of our other projects and stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll go take a look at my, uh, my nether portal room, the start of my rail. Oh, what else? Um, anybody who is watching this will also see that I recently started a single player world um, in a series on YouTube with it. Uh, it's been a while since I've played a single player world and I wanted to uh, to maybe try to do one on, on YouTube. I thought it would be, uh, it would be fun. It's nice to start from scratch every once in a while. It's got a kind of like refreshing feeling to it. Okay, looks like we're coming up on where I've been doing work on the tunnel. Uh, we might do a little bit of this on camera just to show you guys um, how I've been doing some of the detail and stuff. Uh, we've been knocking this off. Some of this rail is gone because as I was digging out, I hit a little pocket of lava and it, you know, washed washed stuff away. And I'm kind of thinking as I go we're gonna see that happen some more so I'm not really rushing to fix it just yet I'll probably just try to well then again now that I say that I'm realizing you know if I plan on this being a kind of on and off project I am gonna wanna have a functioning rail in the meantime so um, I might reconsider that I might fix this I'm gonna have the rails to do it so probably should. My original thought was I would just fix everything in the end when I'm done. But as I said now I'm kind of rethinking that. Um, I left some of my materials. Back in my base. We also had a minor setback. Um, I guess it happened last night. 
um, I wasn't on, and uh, we won't name any names, but an another player came over here, and uh, he was trading with my paper trader here, and apparently um, his game crashed, and he locked the paper trader. So I was a little annoyed when I came on this morning and he told me about that, but, um, you know, at first I was kind of thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm going to have to scrap my emerald and quartz castle idea, because I'll never get another paper trader again. But then, uh, you know, I grabbed one of the villagers from the breeder and thought, okay, you know, let me just give it a try. And I started unlocking some of his trades, and lo and behold, the first guy I grabbed was our pra was a paper trader. He was, uh, right away, it took me maybe four minutes to unlock a new paper trader. I was expecting it was going to take hours worth of trading and, you know, but I got super lucky. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, do we have any red clay? Yeah, we do. Okay, we got the glowstone, the clay, that, that, that. Maybe some more cobble fence. There we go. While we're here, never hurts to have some cobble, because as we dig it out, we might have to put a wall for safety behind it. And... Yeah, that should do for now. Right? Um... Couple more cobblestone half slabs, actually. All right, that's good. So maybe we'll just do a section or two of this, just to show you guys how I've been doing, kind of the detail, and why. Uh, you know, and we can see how long a section actually takes, just a little section, and why I think this is going to take forever. Okay, so we got a little three spot here, three across, five high, we dig back one more. We, uh, we've been collecting a lot of netherrack, which, um, I think we've been donating to L Luna. She's been using it, uh, for her main building, she's got all these. I don't want to e even try to describe the place too much because it wouldn't do it justice. <laughs> but it's like all this kind of spiral staircase thing with all these pads coming off of it, and the different pads are different farms of, and underneath the pads and like, and like clay pixel art. She's got a picture, which tells you what kind of farm it is it looks really cool I was a uh, kind of blown away when I went over there to look at it so um soon we'll go take a look at that place anyway I haven't been talking too much about what I'm doing here I have did a stripe up there and you know one pillar I'm sorry stripe pillar and a pillar of stone brick uh, one layer behind it you know one block back we did this clay, glowstone clay. Oh, like, oh, we extended this the same way with three stairs and then one stair there. I've been doing that, and then just to get a little more shape, this and this, so that it doesn't connect right here, and you get the little platform there. Um, just to keep spawns from happening and to cover. You know, again, add a little more color and shape. I've been doing that. And then... Upside down stair there, and upside down stair there. Regular stair there, and a regular stair there. And some stone fence. And then... We just had some cobble stairs. One, two, three. So, and then we just do the same on the other side, and just been plan is to continue this pattern. 
all the way to the end, which is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blocks. So, you know, that's why I'm saying this is going to be a long project. It's going to take a while, but in the end, I think it'll look great. I think it'll, you know, rather impressive. So, again, we have this. I'm just gonna do one section here. We're halfway done. That, and we'll probably just do one more pillar. And that'll probably be it for today's video. Um, I have to get over to the arena and finish that. This, um, I've been taking a little bit of a break on it. It's, as I said, it's a big, huge project. And you get a little burnt out after a while on them. But we've been doing some progress here and there. And you know, sometimes if you step away from it a little bit, and then come back to it, you come back with a fresh perspective on it. And a f fresh, uh, you know, motivation. Okay, same thing again here. And then the last thing is a even a layer out from there, put some wood, piece of glowstone, and that, give a little more shape, put a half slab there. Basically my two main functions I'm looking for with this tunnel obviously is to look cool and to um, keep mobs from spawning on my track, primarily pigmen. Alright, so I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and originally uh, when I was messing around with this, and I did like half of what I had so far already, I had these stairs coming out of here instead of out of here. And then by accident I placed, oops, by accident I placed one, you know, where it is now, and it looked much cooler the shape of um, the way this stair comes up here and then it comes up here. I don't know I just thought it looked much nicer so yeah that's our uh, the only other thing we do on this is with some cobblestone we outline the pillar and if you see our roof pattern Two. Um, I'm just doing a line of of a uh, red clay, and every time we hit one of these little cross sections here, put a glowstone block and put the red clay on either side. Again, the root, you know, ceiling doesn't have to be anything too fancy, but I think it looks good and matches nice. So that's pretty much our our nether tunnel that we've been working on. Um, realized we went through but we didn't take a very close look at our portal room. So as I said this is our portal room. Um, trying to keep a similar feel to to the block types of our castle and stuff. I tried to build a little bit of an outline around the actual portal itself to kind of hide it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do some more work on it. I don't like how straight that is right there. Might like knock a block out or two. I don't know, I'm gonna mess around with it. Uh, we also, right now we have detail on the corners. Eventually it'll probably, you know, there'll probably be other tunnels branching out to other builds and stuff as we, as we create more builds and have new projects and stuff. But uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's much safer than it was. A lot of times uh, I was still getting my portal knocked out by gas and stuff and it would always happen when I don't have a flint and steel so I'd have to sit here and wait for him to shoot again to try to get him to relight my portal which isn't too difficult to do it just it can take a minute sometimes and be a pain in the neck. 
Um, yeah, we're doing this right, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, that's our nether tunnel we're working on. It's big enough for horses too, which is important. Um, I don't have a horse yet. I'm kind of waiting until I finish my horse stable at my base, but um, um, eventually we will have horses, so it'll be nice to be able to come through the hub with our horse. Uh, so I think that's it for today's episode. Um, I'm going to take stock of like all the projects I have going on right now, and we're going to... I'll uh, also I'll just show you real quick. As I said, I've been spending a lot of time gathering quartz. Oops. <laughs> and gathering emeralds. I've got a pretty good amount of emeralds going here. Um, I need way more if I plan on using them in a building. So basically, you know, a lot of my... Anytime I get to play this game I've been, and play on the server, I've been uh, spending it... Uh, gathering sugarcane and trading emeralds. Um, trying to get as much as I can in before the uh, update happens and uh, trading changes. You know, not that I see it's going to be impossible for us to get emeralds once trading happens, uh, but it's certainly, I think, going to, at first at least, uh, slow things down a bit. Um, so I think that's it for today. We're going to get back to some paper trading. And uh, next time, uh, I still got to think about what we're going to do in the next episode. I got a lot of things going on, so um, I'm going to think about which one of them we want to take a look at next time. Uh, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff in the future. If you want to keep up with uh, when I'm putting out videos and stuff. Alright guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.